My dear friends, welcome to Rajshaker classes on Applied Data Science with Python. This is lecture number 542. In this lecture, we will try to understand training multi-layer perceptron. In the previous video, we have learned how to train a single neuron model. We revisited what is SGD, some of the uh, some chain rule and very basic stuff in calculus. The most important thing in neural network is multi-layer perceptron. This lecture and next few lectures, probably the most important lectures in the whole of deep learning. Because in this lecture and next couple of lectures, we will learn how to train, how to train multi-layer perceptron, which is the most important stuff in next few lectures, we will learn an algorithm called backpropagation algorithm. Don't worry about the terminology. It is nothing but it is just an extension of what we learned in single neuron model. It is just a chain rule with a SGD and couple of very simple tricks. Nothing very fancy, not very straight uh, forward, uh, but it's important to follow this in detail in uh, that's why I, I i go slightly slower in this lecture so you understand the notation you you understand the mathematics i i, I will go into some notation that we have already seen earlier we use notation that we learn how to represent multi-layer perceptron imagine you have a data set capital D equal to XI comma YI and XI belongs to uh, R4 that is uh, XI belongs to R4 means what it's a four dimensional data and YI belongs to R. Here we want to train a multi-layer perceptron and this problem is a standard regression problem in in standard regression problem the simple loss this is the simple loss function that we have is the simple loss function that we have is squared loss isn't it so we use some some of these and uh, understand we use some of these and understand how to train multi-layer perceptron so let me let me first draw a multi-layer uh, perceptron with a notation that we saw uh, that uh, that a notation that we saw earlier let xi has uh, four features that is four dimensions uh, let's draw a simple neural network this is my f11 f12 f13 so we introduced this notation in previous lectures this is uh, another layer i can say layer 2 where i have f21 f22 where i have two neurons and i have layer 3 in in layer 3 we have a neuron uh, which is um, uh, we have a neuron which is f31 the activation functions f11 f12 f13 f21 f22 f31 all these are activation functions now all these inputs are connected let me say all these inputs are connected here since uh, there are four inputs here these uh, i have layer one l1 means layer one l2 means layer two and o means what o means output layer uh, isn't it uh, i have input layer uh, and output layer here again again all these uh, four inputs are connected uh, connected to second neuron similarly to third neuron so here again these connections uh, here my output yi cap what is my yi cap yi cap is output my input is xi and xi has four features xi1 xi2 xi3 xi4 and loss function what is my loss function l here this is this loss function is uh, loss function is on yi and yi cap this yi cap is output of f31 if you recall my xi and yi are in uh, uh, data set what is my data set my data set capital d equal to xi comma yi what is my yi cap yi cap is the uh, predicted uh, yi cap is a predicted value isn't it uh, as we have seen these weights are represented uh, represented by w power 1 here we have 12 weights there are four values input values here and three values uh, here as output we uh, we have seen earlier what is this uh, w power 
uh, one four three months we, we already discussed this particular notation here you have four values here you have four values here you have three values as we have seen earlier we we can represent it uh, by using four by three matrix uh, matrix that is w dash of four by three similarly the weights here are called this one uh, uh, what is this uh, 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 what is this w power two what is this matrix uh, this matrix is uh, uh, w power 2 and this is what is the order of this matrix uh, 3 by 2 matrix w power 2 3 by 2 because you have what is the reason uh, reason is so simple and straightforward you have three inputs and uh, two outputs isn't it that's why it is uh, 3 by 2 matrix because you have three inputs and two outputs here and th there are total uh, 3 into 2 means how many connections are there total six connections there is another matrix uh, w power 3 what is this w power 3 2 1 this the higher two inputs and one output having understood this now let's try to uh, try to pose this problem as an optimization problem isn't it let let us try to pose this one as an optimization problem what is step one what are the unknowns here our unknowns here uh, 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 at the end of the training given data set capital D equal to XI comma YI we have to determine the weights here the weights are unknowns what are the weights here W power 1 4 by 3 W power 2 3 by 2 and uh, W power 3 2 by 1 so how many weights uh, how many weights are here that is I can say W power 1 4 by 3 means here I have how many weights do I have here mm, I have 12 weights uh, I have 6 weights I have 2 weights totally how many weights I have total 20 weights the total of 20 weights what does training you know, what does training a multi-layer perceptron is training basically means computing these weights isn't it what is the meaning of training computing these weights so that's what training essentially means it is just like uh, uh, single neuron model in single neuron model we are we are trying to find in single neuron model we are trying to find these four weights w1 w2 w3 and w4 here instead instead of just four weights instead of instead of just four weights how many weights here just go back and check instead of just four weights you have a network of weights you have almost 20 weights here and we want to compute them isn't it we would like to compute that 20 weights let's go uh, let's go step by step step one define a loss function what is my loss function a loss function is squared uh, squared loss l equal to summation of i equal to 1 to n y i minus y cap whole square plus regression this uh, uh, this reg this uh, plus uh, regularization sorry it's not regression plus regularization this regularization is on the weights any random weight here can be represented as uh, uh, w uh, I, I can say this weights can be represented as w i j whole to the power of k isn't it how can i represent these weights i can represent this weights as w i j whole power k any weight can be represented as w i j whole power k typically your regularization typically it looks like uh, this uh, summation uh, i uh, what is this regularization it is typically in the form of summation of uh, summation summation of i j k w for k i j whole square uh, what is this this is this one this this one is known as l2 regularizer where isn't it this is your this is like your l2 regularization here this one this one is uh, sigma summation i i j k w i j whole for k this is like uh, l1 regularizer uh, l1 regularizer this is how your l1 regularizer look like just ignore the regularization for now so the optimization becomes simpler sigma i equal to 1 to n y i minus y i cap whole square is simple uh, squared lots let me call uh, let me call li li as a squared a square difference between just one point y i minus y i cap whole square li is the eighth point the squared uh, difference between actual value and predicted value i can return i i can write it as l equal sigma I equal to one to an li plus regularization this is my this is my squared loss uh, uh, with regularization isn't it how how will i opt how will my optimization problem look look like my optimization problem will say minimize squared loss isn't it that is optimization problem minimization of l l means what minimization of l l means squared loss l has two parts squared loss and regularization 
uh, what what are the variables here you have you, you your variables are your matrices w power 1 w power 2 w power 3 these are the variables in i can write this optimization problem minimization over all uh, minimization over all w i j whole power k for all possible value of uh, all values of k i j that is uh, w i j whole power k are the variables uh, that we that we can that we can change the minimization of l over w i j whole power k where what is my l my l is nothing but sum of uh, squared loss and regularization this is the optimization problem that we want to solve mean uh, most things in machine learning especially in deep learning boils down to your optimization problem and simple chain rule of differentiation that's the elegant uh, that's the elegance of it important techniques in deep learning can be boiled down to simple calculus isn't it we have we have defined loss function we have defined optimization problem our third step is step 3 is stochastic gradient descent or any gradient descent suppose whenever you are trying to compute do l by do w power k i j instead of using all the points instead of using all the points if you are using subset of points that's called stochastic gradient or else it is standard gradient descent let's keep the that details aside for a while first step in any gradient descent algorithm is initialization initialization of uh, initialization, initialization of variables what, what are the variables here, here? variables are, are wij whole power k for all values of k i j from valid values of k i j so initialization of w uh, initialization of initialization of w i j whole power k randomly we will discuss on how to initialize weights in a, uh, how, how to initialize weights in future lectures there are lots of techniques which helps Uh, which helps you are uh, which helps you to build better to better to train deep learning systems there are lots of techniques to initialize these weights the second step is how 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 do you update any any weight suppose you have uh, you have a weight w power k i j what what does gradient descent do Uh, what does gradient descent do it uh, iteratively keeps changing these weights in in a for loop like uh, Uh, w i j whole w power k i j new equal to w i j whole power k whole minus eta into do l by do w power k i j what is this this is known as uh, you know, what is update rule in gradient descent so this is called the update rule in gradient descent algorithm i request all of you to go through this particular Uh, point uh, this update rule i will continue my discussion on training multi layer perceptron in my next lecture that is in lecture number 543 also thank you very much